Hi, hello everyone. I am C. Nitya, working as assistant professor in ECE department, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. The subject I am handling is basics of biomedical instrumentation and the subject code is OEMD551. And today we are going to deal and discuss about electrodes and the type of electrodes. So welcome to the great session. We will see in detail. And today discussion is about electrodes and types of electrodes and then we are going to discuss needle electrode in detail. Electrodes. First we will see what is electrodes. Electrodes are device that converts ionic potential into electronic potential. Our body consists of various ionic potential due to the movement of ions. Whereas we need to convert this ionic potential into the electronic potential with the help of electrodes. Here we are measuring and acquiring the signals like ECG is electrocardiography which is used to measure the heart activity then EEG it is electroencephalography which is used to measure the potential of the brain then EMG EMG is electromyography which is used to record and learn about muscle activities the electrode potential we are measuring between the interface of the electrode and the electrolyte Okay, and now we will see how we can produce electrode potential using the electrode and the electrolyte interface. Consider this image. Here we have placed two electrodes near the shoulder for the patient. Now we need to measure the potential in between these two electrodes. Our body is filled with the fluid that we know that that fluid will act as an electrolytic solution here. So between this electrolytic solution and the electrode, the potential is generated and the generated signal will be displayed in the display unit which is shown in the another figure. So now we will discuss about the types of electrodes that is available. Based on the anatomical location, we can use a different types of electrode for measuring the bioelectric signals. These are all the types of electrodes. First one is surface electrode, then micro electrodes, and then depth and needle electrodes. Today we are going to discuss a detail about depth and needle electrodes. Now we will see about the depth electrode. This image shows the depth electrode. This depth electrode used to measure and record the bioelectrical events for highly localized extracellular regions. If we see the figure, this depth electrode consists of the cluster or we can call it as a bundle bundle of fine wires especially it is used to study the electrical activity of the neurons in the superficial layer of the brain here each electrode consists of the bundle of teflon insulated with the platinum and iridium alloy wires whereas we going to have the platinum of about 90 percentage and iridium of about 10 percentage so the electrode is resting on the subcortical nerve cells. The end of the individual wire in the bundle constitute individual electrodes. That is each wire going to have each electrode in the bundle. Active area that is the area can be covered by the depth electrode is of about 0.5 mm square. Now we are going to see about needle electrodes. This image represents 
how needle electrode can be inserted into the patient muscle. Needle electrodes are used to record the peripheral nerve action potential that is electroneurography. If we see this, these electrodes will be different from the other surface electrodes. Why? Because we don't use electrolyte gel in the uh, to maintain the interface between the extracellular fluid. So it is used to measure EEG that is electroencephalography and EMG electromyography signals. Then if you see this, a short length of the fine insulated metal wire is bent at its one end and the bent portion will be inserted through the lumen of the needle and is advanced that is it will be get into the muscle of the patient. When we insert this two insulated wires into the lumen of the needle the, the two wires constitute bipolar electrodes. So we are going to have a two electrodes here. One wire that is one thing will act as an active electrode whereas another will act as a reference electrode here. If you see this the main advantage of the needle electrode is, is that they are less susceptible to movement errors than the surface electrode. Next we will see about the types of needle electrodes. First one is monopolar needle electrode and then bipolar needle electrode and concentric or coaxial needle electrode. First we will discuss about monopolar or insulated needle electrode. The figure shows the uh, monopolar needle electrode or insulated needle electrode. It consists of a solid needle made up of stainless steel with a sharp point. The chunk of the needle insulated with a coating with Teflon or other insulating material. So this will be covered up to its entire length but except for 0.5 mm of the tip will be exposure. The lid wire is attached to the other end of the needle. The joint is also encapsulated in a plastic hub to protect it. The needle serves as the active electrode and a surface electrode placed on the skin close to it serves as a reference. Now we will see the advantages and major disadvantages of this monopolar needle electrode. The major advantage is that patient accept them better because they are of small diameter and Teflon covering allow them to slide in and out of the muscle easily. So this is the major advantage of using a monopolar needle electrode when compared to the other electrodes. Now we will discuss about the major disadvantage of this needle electrode is that moving the needle in and out may cause a discomfort to the patient. And the another disadvantage is with the repeated use the size of the bare tip changes. Thereby we need to limit the number of examination for which that the needle can be used. Now we will discuss about bipolar needle electrode. The above figure shows the bipolar needle electrode. From the name we can say that here two wires are placed within the lumen of the needle and can be connected differentially. Bipolar needle electrodes contain two insulated wire within that metal cannula. Cannula is nothing but a tube which can be inserted into the body of the patient. Uh, often we can say that it can be used during the delivery or uh, you can we can use that during uh, to take the sample from the patient's body like any fluids. Here uh, two wires are bad at the tip and provide contact to the patient. Here the cannula act as a ground. 
So the bipolar electrodes are electrically symmetrical and have no polarity cells. Now we will discuss about the concentric cork coaxial needle electrode. This figure shows that uh, concentric cork coaxial needle electrode. This concentric uh, needle consists of the cannula that is we already seen about the cannula what is cannula with an insulated wire. The active electrode is the small tip of the center wire and the reference electrode is the outside cannula. This concentric needle may have two central wires that is bipolar in which case the active and reference electrode are at the tip and outside cannula act as the ground. Now we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of the concentric uh, needle electrode. The major advantage of this electrode is minimize this background noise. Because of the active and the reference electrode are closer together, using in this concentric electrode will minimize the background noise by nature. And also it doesn't require surface electrode in, in this uh, use. The another major, uh, the, uh, the disadvantages of this coaxial needle electrode is that the larger diameter can cause more pain to the patients and moving the electrode around make uncomfortable to the patient also. Bending become a problem when needle is dulled by repeated use. So this needle can be resharpened with a fine hardening stone. So this is all about needle electrode and depth electrode. Hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you.